A Day with No Words by Tiffany Hammond, illustrations by Kate Cosgrove. Early morning chases a long night. Mama pulls the curtains back to welcome the sunlight. My eyes squeeze shut. I'm not ready to get up, but I open my eyes. I reach for my tablet, look at the screen, tap yes on the app. My thoughts are now seen. I'm surrounded by voices chattering away. It seems as if everyone has so much to say. Some people have big voices that feel like storms in my head. They thrash and they scream. Others have voices that are soft and smooth, like freshly whipped cream. Like water, Mama's voice dances around, bobbing up and down as it leaves her throat much like the waves that carry a boat. Daddy's voice is like air, soft as a light summer breeze that kisses my cheek, strong as the winds of hurricanes that abandon ships at sea. All these people around me are diverse and unique, I hear them all, but they do not hear me. I do not speak. I was born like this. No voice from my lips. I am autistic. I use a tablet to be heard, pushing buttons with pictures that speak my words. Bird, fish, turtle, rabbit, Mama taps, park, now, no, crowd. I love the park and quickly tap. Yes, with no crowd, I'll feel less stress. Mama knew this, she always knows, when I feel comfortable and when my anxiety grows. I do things many people do not understand. I like to stare through the parted fingers of my right hand. I comfort the trees with hugs when the sun disappears. I like to spin barefoot on the soft grass after rain clears. There are some kids at the park with their mamas nearby. The clouds are still gray because the sky has just cried. They all turn to look at me as I jump and flap. One mother sneers, that boy is handicapped. Mama inhales deeply, her brows crease. She closes her eyes, deep breath, release. Mama types quickly, her fingers a blur. The tablet she holds says her words. My son does not speak, but his ears work just fine. The words that you say go straight to his mind. Then Mama turns to me with a smile and taps on her screen. Wet, grass, soft, spin, shoes, socks off bare skin. And I twirl in damp grass until I can no longer stand. I tap, all done. Mama smiles and takes my hand. All done. 
Mama turns on her tablet, looks at the cashier, smiles and then types, small fries, root beer. It takes him a moment, but then he pushes buttons too. Mama looks down at me, your turn, you choose. I tap my tablet quickly. I don't need time to decide. Chicken nuggets, orange soda, a large side of fries. Chicken nuggets, orange soda, a large side of fries. So yung mga stories katulad nito, ang tawag namin dito ay social stories. Sobrang importante nila because nga dito makikita ng mga bata, actually hindi lang bata, dito makikita ng tao yung mga posibleng hindi naman nasa pang araw araw nilang karanasan. Makikita nila kung anong mga different kinds of situations na napagdadaanan ng iba't ibang klaseng tao. Makikita nila kung paano mag-act and react yung mga tao in these stories without actually having gone through the same experience. This teaches them things like cause and effect. Later on, magiging reasoning skills yan. Napag-uusapan din ang feelings, body language, etc. I chose to share this story today for representation and inclusion. Yung representation is, bago tayo magka more compassionate and more inclusive society, dapat alam muna natin what are the other kinds of people out there. Kaya sobrang importante yung meron tayong nare-represent natin yung mga others that are not in the majority of the population. For example, yung mga bulag, yung mga pilay. Bakit kailangan ituro natin sa mga bata yung mga wheelchair? Bakit natin kailangan ipaalam sa kanila na may mga taong hindi nagsasalita? Because number one, kung meron kang anak na hindi rin nagsasalita, it's so important for them to know that they're not alone. Hindi unique yung experience nila. It will help unalienate them from the world. Gusto nating malaman at maklaro sa mga tao na just because hindi nakakapagsalita, hindi laging ibig sabihin ay hindi nakakaintindi. Meron tayong mga people in our communities na hindi lang talaga physically nakakaporma ng mga sounds at ng mga words pero naiintindihan nila lahat ng sinasabi natin. So I hope that you enjoyed this story, A Day with No Words. Sana rin if you're interested in more stories like this, you can stay tuned dun sa aking playlist. Read along dun sa Teacher K Talk. So follow, like, subscribe, share, and happy talking. Mabuhay!